Hello, and welcome back to Super Bonus Round, our playthrough Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host, Ring Wizard 767. Well, I'm my best friend, Mew RJM. Oh my god. What's so, up? So much happened. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got yeah. our asses beat by Como Driscoll, and then Sean got got. Yep, Sean got killed. There was a shootout with Rhodes. Not even the glorious what the fuck isms of that Doug episode Twitter account could make me feel better about it. Are you sure? Uh, okay, well, episode 508, a haunted car. The Doug family finally gets a new car and Doug thinks it's mad at him for some reason. Everyone loses patience with Doug and this one even especially the audience. Author's note, I'm drunk. <laughs> All right, so that, that one will maybe feel a little bit better. Oh, Arthur's dead. I'm drunk. <laughs> yep. But yeah, um, according to the spoiler-free guide, we only have two more missions left, so since this is going to be our last Red Dead episode before Spooky Bones rounds, let's say we go finish the chapter. Yeah, let's uh, give it a go. And if you're wondering, wait a minute, it's only August. How, how come you're stopping before Spooky Bones round? We have another series starting in September. Which will also take a break when Spooky Bones round hits. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? Uh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think... The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Because if he's frightened for even one minute, it's game over. Need some extra guns. Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, good. Micah's not coming with us, so we, we can't fuck it up. Okay, let's go get that boy back. So the little Jackie boy's been stolen. But by whom? just got shot to hell by the greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's Easy. hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! So since you haven't beaten this game yet, where exactly did you stop? Uh, way further than you think. So like, not even anywhere close to where we are now. Right. It's like, one of the later chapters. Yes. All right, I'll trust you'll tell me when we get when we get to that point. All right, let's go. Let's go sh give uh, Futurama mom what for for taking little Jack. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. We're gonna have a little rumble in a mansion. I like it. Let's go. Nice. 
now, Jack. You should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Oh, look at that nice shot as I'm going God, marching I'm onward. I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John. I need you to stay calm. It's a fucking wallpaper worthy. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you know? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Hmm. Whoa! What the fuck was that all about? What did he hit you with in the shoulder to kill you? I don't even know. It was a headshot, I get it, but like a, a shoulder? Really? Dutch is pissed.
too. Where's the boy? boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where gang Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. Shouldn't have kidnapped her, our kid. Van only game does not fuck around. You take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> she gonna run back into her house? I guess. All right, if she wants to be with her son, so be it. out John it's gonna work out listen to Dutch now, I don't expect you to understand this but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now brother you're doing the right thing if I don't get that boy back safe um she she'll kill us all I know but looking at this logically well, that boy is fine they took him to scare us nobody takes a boy to harm him he's right John what do you think Arthur my boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. This oh, is no! A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Ha! Uh -huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't <laughs> know if you're aware, but this, this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, 
It's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vandalind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure... Oh yeah, the old Confederate house. Yep. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. We're getting a new base. Come on, John. This is crazy. <clears throat> and this time it'll have a roof. We need a new spot, Follow me. I know the way. See, so yeah, according to that uh, walkthrough, this is the last mission of Chapter Three. Yeah, because next we go into San Denis. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew it right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. The master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess.
And now shit's getting real, real juicy. Yep. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, back to what you would say. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Assuming nobody else hold up inside it. I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Yeah, I, I thought so. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. It's like, die! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that was good. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Didn't you get the message last time? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. You come on. <laughs> I knew you'd come eventually or some coward lucky you oh. see the thing <laughs> and then it's just nothing but a vertebrae sticking out a bloody hole <laughs> <laughs> Compare the context are totally different. 
Buddy, come work out like a thief. <laughs> Shooting Eli's head off was a fuck up. That was an accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, better get more to work on best of last four. Because I got some new material already. <laughs> I love the conk when, when you drop them on the hardwood. <laughs> I ain't getting over that anytime soon. <laughs> I kind of want to edit in that scene, except when it's that explodes, it's just confetti in a party. So my favorite noise. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. Watch. It's, it's, the, head, it's the headless confederate, and he's, gonna, he's, he's out for our second round. All right, that was the guy who was like, Dad! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Dad, oh shit. Like, that was actually in, like, the, the, that was intended as the dialogue. Dad! Oh shit! But no, the guy in the bed was funnier. <laughs> I guess you're going with him with the gators! Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's see where we're going. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on... You there? She wants to talk. Yeah, I had to leave the stream because it was getting pixelated. I'm good now. Things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly He's believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're in the <coughs> country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. 
Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Oh boy, the Cornwall factory again. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Ugh. That is so ominous. Yep. And we're li and we're living in the consequences of it. Yep. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter four. Saint Denis. Mother of fuck, did we just conquer the first half of the game? Sort of. Well, there's six chapters and we just did three. <laughs> and of course the horse takes a credit. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> uh, what do you think? Is this where we uh, call it? Where, our what's, our, what's our time? 34 minutes. Yeah, just because that way it doesn't go too long. Um, yep. So next time on the Super Bonus Round, we will explore Saint Denis. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We'll see you after Halloween.